BTS, the world's biggest boy band. RM, Jin, Suga, J-Hope, Jimin, V, and Jungkook. How are they the biggest of today? BTS became the first Korean act to receive an RIAA album certification. They currently have two certified RIAA platinum singles and four gold in the US. Their most recent album, Map of the Soul Persona, sold more than 3 million copies in just its first month. BTS sold 573,000 albums in just the US through the week ending July 18. And this was without bundles. Forbes named them the world's highest paid boy band, debuting at number 43 with $57 million in pre-tax income. Their album Persona went number one on iTunes album charts in 89 countries and debuted at number one on the Billboard 200, making it BTS's third Billboard number one. This tied them with the Beatles for the most Billboard 200 number ones achieved in under a year with three different albums. Now, these are just a few of their recent achievements. The general public knows them for their incredible dances, vocals, visuals, and of course, their powerful and passionate fans called ARMY. But a lot actually don't realize that these seven men from South Korea contribute to their own music. Let's begin with their name. BTS stands for Pangtan Sonyeondan. Pangtan means to be resistant to bullets. So it means to block out stereotypes, criticisms, and expectations that are imposed on adolescents to preserve the values and ideals of today's adolescents. A lot of their work is inspired by art and literature. For example, their Wings album was inspired by the book Damien, while their Map of the Soul Persona album was inspired by Young's Map of the Soul. Many references are made during their music videos and songs. They've always been involved in their music and engaged with their fans, even before they officially debuted. On BTS's official YouTube channel, Punktan TV, they posted self-produced music, dance and vocal practices, logs, and even reviews, like Shiga's production system review. After watching the video, you'll realize that the beat he created was then used for his future mixtape called August D. From their first album, Too Cool for School, to their most recent, Map of the Soul Persona, the members have contributed as writers and producers on every album. We tried to find like who could do like, a, like the best for that melody. So we tried to like always be fair, but it's, sometimes it's hard, but we got our own style. So maybe like for one person, we wrote like 20 verses for it. Uh -huh. Not all of the members' melodies and lyrics make it in, but they would sometimes share some of their demos with fans online. Even during their free time, they create music that's released to fans for free as a gift. Three of the rappers also released their mixtapes and playlists on SoundCloud for free. All of BTS are actually associate members of the Korea Music Copyright Association. And in 2018, Suga was promoted to a full member. KOMCA is one of the largest nonprofit associations in Asia, and they only choose 25 members per year to promote to full. As of July 2019, RM's listed credits on KOMCA are now at 133 songs, alongside with J-Hope at 89, Shiga with 86, V with 7, Jungkook with 6, Jin with 5, and Jimin with 4. You'll also notice the repeating names alongside the members, such as P-Dog, Slow Rabbit, Supreme Boy, Hitman Bang, Adora, and His Noise. They are BTS's company in-house producers. Hitman Bang is actually the CEO of their company called Big Hit. At the start of every BTS video, you'll see Big Hit's logo along with music and artist for healing. This mission statement goes back to their pre-debut days. Uh, there was kind of like a promise that we and Mr. Bang had right before our debut, so in 2013. We want to and we have to talk about what's really inside us and we want to 
um, be helpful to the world and we want to we want to say and speak and show something that this world needs. Sugar compares the company's songwriting process to a year-round song camp where the artists and producers work off of each other's ideas. 사실 365일 song camp가 진행된다고 생각하시면 됩니다. 저희 모두가 곡을 보내고 뭐 가사 생각나는 거 있으면 보내고 또 주제 생각나는 거 있으면 보내고 그렇게 이제 추합이 된 거를 사실 이제 방패님이 정리를 해주시죠. 이건 이렇게 갔으면 좋겠고 저건 저렇게 갔으면 좋겠고. They think of each other as equal partners in the process of creating music. They've been together since the beginning, so their strong bond is what makes BTS and the company a family. They started from the bottom and grew together, literally from the bottom. For example, while BTS was in Los Angeles for a reality show back in 2014, instead of renting out a studio, they ended up recording their Dark and Wild album in a garage. Other than in-house producers, BTS have been collaborating with other artists, producers, writers, and mixers from other countries. And we sent it off, and, and we, I heard that BTS wanted it. It came out, and I was like, love this. And they had new titles, Paradise. It was a like completely different lyrics. Mm -hmm. They like changed it to like a self-help song. The original thing I talked about was much bitchier. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It wasn't like a self-help song or anything. So I'm, I'm glad they made that turn into gold. 네, 항상 사회 현상에 대한 네, 사회 현상을 이야기하는 곡이 매 앨범마다 있었는데요. 이번 앨범에는 낙원이라는 곡이 바로 그 곡입니다. 어, 제가 작년 신년 인사 때 저희 팬 여러분들한테 꿈이 없어도 행복하면 됩니다라는 말을 한 적이 있는데 어, 그 말에서부터 시작이 된 곡입니다. 어, 세상은 어, 꿈을 꾸는 법을 가르쳐 준 적도 없지만 항상 경쟁을 유도하고 무한 경쟁 속에서 지치는 많은 분들을 위해서 꼭 들려주고 싶은 곡이라고 생각을 했고요. Other than the catchy beats you hear in their songs, BTS is known for their socially conscious lyrics. They tackle topics such as mental health, self-acceptance, and empowerment. <목소리> Energy, energy, energy. Everybody say no. I'm no. They have always talked about the importance of lyrics and understanding the meaning behind it. 사실 요즘 가사를 안 듣는 사람들도 많잖아요. 저만 해도 팝 들을 때 가사를 제가 아주 좋아 어, 나이 노래 진짜 좋아서 가사를 알고 싶다라는 곡이 아니면 가사를 모르고 그냥 그 멜로디랑 그 바이브를 즐기잖아요. 물론 그래도 아무 문제 없고 사실은 그렇게 점점 더 흐름이 가고 있는 것 같은데 가사 말에 그 그게 줄수 있는 그 청각적인 질감과 언어적인 아름다움에 제가 집중하는 게 게다가 여러분께 바치는 말들이니까 훨씬 더 가사가 중요하지 않겠어요? BTS has earned a reputation for standing up against injustice and speaking for today's youth. They launched an anti-violence campaign with UNICEF on November 1st, 2017, and on September 24, 2018, BTS delivered a speech about the Love Myself campaign in the United Nations General Assembly. Let's take all one more step. We have learned to love ourselves. So now I urge you to speak yourself. As of June 30, 2019, the campaign's global accumulated funds total stands at 2.4 billion Korean won, which is more than 2 million US dollars. They continue to use their platform to speak up and bring awareness. Because of their positive influences, many people have been inspired and are working on self-love. Their fans, the ARMY, work on many projects and charities around the world in order to help spread the message. These seven men from Korea are more than just visuals, dancers, and singers. They're seven talented artists with musical talent who have inspired the world.